this is Man Wilkes and of Man Wilkes and Tarot. It is Wednesday, September the 22nd, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not already done so, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. Hello, Aries. How are you doing this evening? Or afternoon, I guess. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining bright inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Aries out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there is no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck for Aries. Spirit. The moon. Pisces energy. The moon talks about secrets, deceptions, and masks being worn. You can see in the, there's like a skull when she's got big earrings on in the picture. And for me, um, secrets coming to light. What is crossing this? Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This has been a very painful cycle, hasn't it? This is the end of a very, very painful cycle. But the good thing about Ten of Swords is it can't get any worse. And the next card is the Ace of Swords, which is new, honest, clear communication. End of a cycle. What is consciously known? Five of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's like five green pentacles. Five pentacles talks about leaving someone out in the cold. Or someone leaving you out in the cold. For me, fives are... Um, fives talk about drama. So, there may have been some drama between you and someone else. Unconscious, the Page of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Page of Pentacles, pages are messengers. This is a money message. You see, she's reaching into her purse. Money message. Recent past. The Chariot. The Chariot, this is Cancer Energy. The Chariot, it's my car card first and foremost. Are you looking for a vehicle? Did you just buy a vehicle? Also, the chariot talks about moving forward. In some decks, there are two horses, one black, one white, pulling the chariot. And this talks about a fork in the road and choosing a path. Near future. Ha! Ah, the sun, happiness, joy, bliss. It's Leo energy. Sun, you know, keeps us all warm and alive. There's a bird, there's sunflowers, yellow flowers, people playing guitars, happiness, joy, bliss. What a lovely card. And in your near future, where do you find yourself? The Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Six of Cups talks about friendship. Puppy love, nostalgia, somebody offering someone else flowers, remembering when times were better and sweeter. The only problem I have with the Six of Cups is that sometimes we, when we look at the past, we look at it through rose-colored glasses and think that it was better than it was. Just make sure when you are rec when you are thinking of the past that you look at it from a objective point of view. I like that, objective. External influences. The Fool. A new journey, a leap of faith. She's got his bag packed, there's a guitar. He's got a butterfly. The Fool, Aries energy. A new journey, taking a leap of faith. Hopes and or fears. The Queen of Swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
uh, swords are all about honest, clear communication. So the Queen of Swords is all about honest, clear communication. You do not bring the King of Queen of Swords honest, clear communication. She will use her sword and she will cut you right out of her life. She makes head over heart decisions. I always forget to say, if you bring the Queen of Swords clear, honest communication, she will be a very loving queen. Overall outcome, Six of Wands, the victory card. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is like um, they're in a parade, and you got the people on the streets or on the sidewalks. They're cheering, they're clapping. The victory card. Bottom of the deck, Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Six of Pentacles talks about equal give and take. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Knight of Wands is the Knight of Passion. Good looking, charismatic, fun to be with, exciting, sexy. But this... Uh, there's a player energy here. This is my player card. Two of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Two of Pentacles talks about being wishy-washy, needing to make a decision, choosing a path. Eight of Cups. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Spicy, Scorpio. Eight of Cups talks about walking away from something that no longer serves you. And we have Seven of Cups. Cups are water energy. Cat Spicy Scorpio. Seven of Cups talks about having options in love. Options in love. So we had, of course, the end of a painful cycle. Chariot moving forward. Money message. The Sun. The Fool. Queen of Swords, Honest Clear Communication, the Victory card, Equal Give and Take, Options in Love, you cannot get any better than having the sun in your future. You deserve love. You are lovable. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Divine timing. Oh, keep an open mind. Your soul may, may differ from your usual type and expectations. Well, you got options in love here. Chariot, moving forward. Money message, the sun, a new beautiful journey. Victory card, options in love. All right, Aries. Have a great rest of your day. It's not, it's not evening yet. It's late afternoon. Uh, this has been Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson of Tarot. Have a great uh, have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.